the breeze little more coronal. You can use this kind of like a feeler and then place this and then run the file to the side of the canal and pull up. Hey, this is Ash, All Things Dentistry, the place where we're passionate about sharing those unwritten hints and tips of dentistry. I'm sure you've been here if you've done enough endo, you're doing your access, you're ref you've already cleaned and shaped, you're refining your, your access or you're just going back into your access and sure enough, debris falls to the apical portion of your mandibular root. This case was sent to me and asked, how do I get this debris out of here? Well, I can tell you with absolute difficulty, prevention is obviously the best because when I was doing this, going into the stage two of a pulpectomy, there were little bits of debris from the restoration and irrigate with either EDTA or sodium perchloric just to flush all of the debris coronally just to make sure it doesn't go apically. So one of the things you can do, say for example, you've already done your access and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to refine my access. You can take, you know what, maybe take some Teflon, place it into the orifices and that'll block the canals. So if you're refining your access now, do you need to do that at the beginning of your root canal? Probably not. This is probably using it after you clean and shaped and we're just kind of ref refining the access. So there are a couple of ways we can try to get this out of here. First one you can use is ultrasonic, ultrasonic energy to activate the irrigant to try to not dislodge it and force it coronally. You can do that, but more to kind of dislodge it out of its spot and then use little suction tips like this. These are what we call, these are called navi tips. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of different ones they are different gauges and different lengths. These are 30 gauge, I believe, and they are open-ended. That's gonna be really tough to do, but it is possible. And another layer, what you can do is actually take your irrigating, so you can take EDTA or sodium hypochlorite or whatnot, and place another one, so this is to your syringe of your irrigant, and just flush the canal and try to use this to suction it. So you're flushing and suctioning at the same time trying to flush that debris, try to get it into solution, and then, you know, pick it up with your little irrigating tips. So these Navi tips come in a whole bunch of different sizes, and we've got yellow ones, we've got blue ones, we've got green ones. You can also use these other capillary tips. They're not as small, they're a little bit bigger, kind of like a 0 .5, 0 0.5 millimeter. I mean, you, the sky is the limit in terms of the tip size you can use. So using suction to try to suction that out another last ditch attempt is using a head shrimp file so let's go ahead and zoom in on this these head shrimps are great because they are used for filing so you can see on my nail used for filing and what's beneficial about them is they can if you bend them watch this if you bend them like this and use them like kind of like a feeler and what you can do for example obviously i bent it at at 17 mils Got to be very careful. This is a 45 size, so this might be a little bit big. I'm using it in this video just because it's easier to see versus a 15. But you could take like a 15, 20, 25 headstrom file and try to weasel that down to your working length. Now you may need to bend it a little bit different. If it's a little more coronal, the debris is a little more coronal. You can use this kind of like a feeler and then place this and then run the file to the side of the canal and pull up. So it might be a little more, you, you know, if it's a little more apical like this, this is probably what, 19, 19 mils down, probably have to kind of bend it a little bit more like that. And then put a little bit of a bend. Let's imagine this is towards the buckle. Bend like that, carefully don't break it like I literally just did like that. Careful, these files are easy to break. Don't do that. So great lesson, be very careful. And then again, the last question is, does it really matter? If you're able to get patency and disinfect this really well, run a lot of sodium hypochlorite down the canal and get lots of lots of the debris out of there, and meaning dentin debris, kill all the biofilm around there and make sure that you've got both canals if there are two canals, it might not actually make a difference. Yeah, it hurts the pride, but this one, if this is a single canal, this looks like a fairly large piece, depends. And you know what's really helpful actually, the last piece is potentially if you really wanna make sure is a comb beam to, to be able to figure out kind of where it is along the side of the canal and be able to have a better plan in terms of approaching it and removing it. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these things and what's been helpful for you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm grateful for your time. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, Ash here, and I wanted to take a second of your time just to introduce our course, Root Canal Like an Anodontist. We've had it for a couple of years and we've had some amazing successes through it. 
just confidence building on behalf of our students. And really what happened was a few years ago, I wanted to create a course to help others because I know what it's like on your endo journey. A lot of times you don't know what's going on. You don't know if you've ledged it. You don't know what to do if you blocked it. You don't even know if a curved canal, what to do. And what I wanted to do was take all my mistakes and my training from my residency and put it into a affordable online course for everyone around the world to join in. And it's been absolutely amazing. And I wanted to offer to you, check us out at allthingsendo.ca. Once you join the course, you get access into our private Facebook group where all of us answer questions. And I'm telling you, there are questions every day that you might be able to, I'm sure you'll be able to connect with because sometimes it's just takes a little bit of courage to ask a question and then your outcome may be incredible. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you there. AllThingsEndo.ca. We'll talk to you soon.